This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on the basics of editing with Apple Final Cut Pro 10. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to customize keyboard shortcuts in Final Cut. The last thing I want to talk about for configuration are keyboard shortcuts. And we get there by going to Commands and Customize. Now we can create custom command sets. You see I've already got two here. A custom command set is where you've created custom keyboard shortcuts compared to the default set. Well, let's click Customize. These are all the different keys. If I type the letter S, this shows me all the different key combinations that use S as a shortcut, or the letter F, or the letter H. There's a lot of different shortcuts associated with each one of these. These are all the different commands that Final Cut has available, and many of them have no shortcut associated at all, which means you could add it. These are the four modifier keys, Command, Shift, Option, Control, and to engage it, just keep clicking. So this means I've got to hold Command, Shift, and Option down, and there's only one shortcut that uses that, the comma key. Well, let's create a keyboard shortcut. One of the things that I have in all of my downloadable files is I use chapter markers, very similar to what you're used to with CDs and DVDs. I create a chapter marker, which is a, a placeholder inside the webinar that you download. So I want to add a keyboard shortcut. I want to search for the word chapter. And notice there's the chapter marker. And there's no shortcuts associated with it. Well, I want to assign control C for chapter to that shortcut. So I've clicked the control, which means the control button must be held down, grab the text and drag it on top of the key I want to assign it to, and when I let go, it says, well, you can't change the default set. You've got to make a copy. So I'm going to call it Larry's Shortcuts. I'm going to call it that and click OK. And notice now, Add Chapter Marker has been assigned Control-C, as we can see over here, Add Chapter Marker. You can have as many keyboard shortcuts as you want. For instance, if we have the word Move, we can see all the different ways that we can move from one place to another. I have spent hours just typing in words to see what the different commands are and discovered all kinds of interesting keyboard shortcuts that are available to us. And if there's nothing here, as there is with previous field, if it's empty, I can create my own keyboard shortcut, which is really cool. Once you're happy with it, you just click the Save button, and you're now, you've copied all the default settings and then added your own to it. And we can see that Larry's Shortcuts is now one of the default sets. This is the one that I use for editing. This is the one we just created. And this is the one that I created for the 9 o'clock this morning. We're going to go back to the default set and click Close. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on the basics of editing with Apple Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 285. By the way, membership is a great value when you need to stretch your training dollars. Membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours, on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com membership. And thanks.